Next question. Mr. X is investing rupees 1000 annually from end of year 1 to end of year 4. Rate of interest is 20% with reliance limited. Calculate maturity amount of deposit at the end of 4th year. Try to calculate answer on your own. First of all, let us have a discussion how to do answer, then we will execute the answer. The question says that say Mr. X is investing 1000 rupees annually from end of year 1 to end of year 4. So we understand like this. Method number 1. In that, first year, second year, third year and fourth year. Every year investment is made. What is the amount of investment? 1000. We can say that say even if even if the rate of interest is 0 percentage then the maturity amount of deposit will be 4000. Even if the rate of interest is 0 percentage maturity amount is 4000. However, there is interest income. What is the rate at which you are going to get interest? 20 percentage. So we write over here interest. And the first year zero interest. Why? Because the first investment is made at the end of year one. Language of the question has no ambiguity. From end of year one to end of year four. So it is 1000 into 20 percentage. So in the second year interest is 200. Now in the third year, you will get interest income on initial 1000, additional 1000 and on this 200. So it is 2200. And into 20 percentage, that comes to 440. Then it is 1000 rupees for 3 times plus 200 plus 440. That is 3640. into 20 percentage that is 728 so 200 plus 440 plus 728 that is 1368 so understand that so this is a simple method by which we can compute the maturity amount of deposit year for it. This is the first method by which we can do answer. Now this answer can be done by alternative method of course by using the formula. Dear students the method number two technically it is given an EMS annuity method that can be applied subject to fulfillment of two conditions. The condition number one, the amount should be invested with equal interval, maybe yearly, maybe semi-annually, maybe quarterly, maybe monthly, something like that. So one is that say the time gap between the investment should be same. The second is the investment should be made of the same amount as well. Same amount is invested with the same time interval, then in that case we can use the annuity formula and as over here we are required to compute the maturity amount, so it is given a technical name as future value annuity method. Let us have understanding that say how to make the calculation of answer. Method number two will work like this. Maturity amount is equal to annual investment into FPIFA at I for n number of years. What is the amount of annual investment? The amount of the annual investment is rupees 1000 into FPIFA is 1 plus I raised to n minus 1 
whole divided by i. This is a simple formula. So it is 1000 into 1.20 raised to 4 minus 1 whole divided by 0 0.20. So it is 1000 into 1 1.20 raised to 4, 2.0736 minus 1 divided by 0 0.20. So it is 1000 into 2.0736 minus 1. 1.0736 divided by 0.2 5.368 What do we understand with the term 5.368? It means that say if at all 1 rupee is invested on annual basis from end of year 1 to end of year 4 the maturity amount of deposit will be 5.368 So 5.368 into 1000 that comes to rupees 5.368 this is the way the maturity amount of deposit can be calculated. That is year 4 and over here. So the same answer that you find.